Good day to you. My name is Dr. Peter Harrop. I'm from the analysts ID TechX. I want to share with you a new report, Census 2021 to 2041. That's a master report, an overview report. We have many reports on the detail. If you look at the patents, there are over 8 million patents on census. So what is being done now? Well, there are around 300,000 being taken out this year. And the latest figures are that they are mainly companies from Japan, Korea, and one in Germany. And those companies' emphasis is mainly automotive, consumer electronics, and industrial. We've looked very closely at the effect of COVID-19 on the automotive industry, and it's very dramatic. 122 million fewer car sales over the next 20 years. But a very important change with respect to sensors, uh, there is a delay in the work on very expensive automation, so the car drives itself. And much more urgent now is the fight to the death of the car companies based on whether they can sell you the type of battery electric car that you want at the right price and with the range that makes you happy. In fact, it's possible to make the range longer than that for an internal combustion engine, but range sells cars, and that is all requiring different sensors. The market drivers for sensors in growth markets is increasing sales numbers, more sensors per equipment, and new devices. For example, bottom right, there'll be over 500 million people interested in continuous glucose monitors that are becoming feasible and acceptable. The market drivers generally, here are some of them across the different um, uh, drivers. You have it there against the industries. And you can see robotics, emission control, uh, electrification, power reduction to make things work with less electricity, uh, right from your watch right up to your power provision and um, wearables and Internet of Things. Aerospace sensors, uh, there's a the heading there that the Boeing 737 crashes could lead to thousands of additional sensors. In the meantime, we have the SpaceX successful and, for example, uh, that um, booster rocket lands vertically on a ship heaving in the waves in the sea. That is heroic sensor work. But in the meantime, on the right also, uh, we have enormous list there of the number of sensors, even in existing commercial aircraft. We at ID TechX have the pretty colors there of a forecast for uh, 20 years, where we think that automotive with rail is going to be very important as those automated vehicles and so on come in. And we're talking about trucks, buses, everything. And uh, also um, medical coming from very small to being very large for a lot of reasons that I touched on one. Uh, and so the figures are accurate, accurately portrayed in the report, but broadly uh, censors about $130 billion business and uh, different parts of it you see before you. And we write about the electric cars of which that's part. Uh, we write about the wearable technology of which that's part. So there's the report. Uh, it's obviously far more detailed than I can cover here, and a lot of very new technologies. We have chapters on the industries adopting sensors, on the technologies of the sensors, such as the bioelectronics coming in and the LiDAR, radar, and so on, and a very long chapter that is going through 54 parameters that are measured by the sensors, sensors by parameter, giving uh, the technologies and the trends and the pros and cons and so on. So that's us. Thank you for listening. Hope you found it interesting, and uh, we look forward to being in contact with you.
Thank you and goodbye.